It's week 88 of Zerus. So we're going to go over his location, the items he's selling, as well as give you guys my recommendations for this week. And we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is week 88 of Xur. However, in this video towards the end, I will be announcing who the Destiny Forsaken um, giveaway for the month of 2019 is. So definitely stay tuned for that. Well, Xur is actually located on Titan. And he is in the rig. So let's go find out what he has this week. Zer! What's up, dude? Wait, hold on. Let me finish my tweet. So, like always, we're going to start with the left-hand side. The weapon of the week is the Darcy, which is an exotic sniper rifle. Then we have Celestial Nighthawk for the Hunter. The Ursa Furiosa for the Titan. As well as the Geomag Stabilizers for the Warlock. We are going to go ahead and start with the weapon of the week. In terms of perk on this, is Personal Assistant, which shows critical information in scope. Then we have Extended Barrel, Extended Mag, uh, Target Acquired, which when Personal Assistant is active, this weapon has better target acquisition and deals significantly more precision damage. And then we have Short Action Stock. This has two different ornaments. This is Cleans Up Good. Looks pretty, uh, pretty decent, I guess. And then we have Mind of Its Own. That looks pretty badass, I will have to say. None of these ornaments actually come with the uh, weapon, but they are ornaments that obviously this weapon has. So, Darcy. It's definitely a good exotic to have in PvE and PvP. However, I probably would not waste my exotic slot on the Darcy. So, I'm probably going to go ahead and give this maybe a tier 3 in PvP. But definitely probably a tier 3.5 to even a tier 4 and PVE. If you guys don't know the tier scale, then I will put it in the description box below. Next is the Celestial Nighthawk for the Hunter. Turn to perk on this is Hawkeye Hack, which Golden Gun fires one high damage shot. Then we have Fusion Rifle Targeting, Hand Cannon Targeting, Hands On, Sniper Rifle Reserves, as well as Machine Gun Reserves. Now this has an ornament, it's called Victorian Silverhawk. I actually think it looks pretty cool. Kind of gives you like a uh, samurai look. Ish, kind of. Depending on who you are. So if you guys do not have this, definitely go ahead and pick it up. It is definitely top tier in PvE. So more so like strikes, the raid, um, anything PvE related that can uh, take down a boss real fast. Not so good in PvP. I mean, you'll be lucky if you can get two people at once. If you can get three or more, hey. Good on you. But it's definitely more of a PvE exotic than a PvP one. So definitely go ahead and grab this if you do a lot of PvE activity. I'm going to go ahead and give this a tier 1.5 in PvE. And you can you know, argue in the comments below for maybe even a tier 1. And I'll listen to it. You know, We'll hear you out. But definitely probably a tier 4 in PvP. Because like I said... One shot, unless you have all of the enemy lined up, mm, not worth it. Next, we have the Ursa Furiosa. In terms of perk on this is Ursine Guard, which block damage with Sentinel Shield for more super energy. And I actually don't have one of these, so I'm going to get one. Then we have Fusion Rifle Loader, Hand Cannon Loader, Impact Induction, Sniper Rifle Scavenger, as well as Machine Gun Scavenger. And it does have an ornament, but I don't actually have the ornaments. Hmm, pretty interesting. So, if you guys don't have this, go ahead and grab it. It is definitely a good um, exotic for the Titan in PvE as well as PvP, and it will definitely get a Tier 2 in both. Um, I don't have one, so I'm actually going to go ahead and purchase one. Next, we have the Geomag Stabilizers for the Warlock. Turn to perk on this is close enough, which extended Chaos Reach, or gives you extended Chaos Reach. Uh, sprinting can add super energy, which is pretty interesting. Then we have Fusion Rifle Dexterity, Hand Cannon Dexterity, Outreach, Scout Rifle Scavenger, as well as Special Ammo Finder. 
and there is no ornament for this. So this is definitely a good exotic for um, those Chaos Reach uh, Warlocks. Definitely go ahead and grab it. Definitely a tier 2 to 2.5 in PvE as well as PvP. I don't have this either, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that too. Then we have your consumables, your five of swords, as well as your invitations, from which I still have not done. Then we have your faded engram, which uh, gives you, well, does give you forsaken uh, exotics. So if you do not have one of these, go ahead and pick these up first before grabbing the faded engram, because you do have a chance to get one of these if you do not have them already inside of the faded engram. So without further ado, the winner of the Destiny Forsaken. Um, contest for the month of May 2019 is on screen right now and congratulations to you I will go ahead and send you out an email and we definitely can go from there and that my friends brings us to the end of the video if you enjoyed this video feel free to watch these videos as well you never know you just might like them and if you do leave a like share them and come back for more because you know you want to thank you guys for watching and remember less guns doesn't mean less crime and I will see you guys next time.